looking back, we're still in 8.7. Example 2 is really similar to example 1. What we want to do is we want to get our squared variable or our squared quantity on one side and our constant number on the other side. That's our goal, okay? So if you look at example A, x squared is not by itself. We must move that positive 5 that's added to it right now. So we're going to subtract 5 from each side. And now we've got x squared is equal to 0. And when you take the square root of x, there is no such thing as positive or negative 0. 0 is the only number that doesn't have a sign. We're just going to have 1, 0 at 0. So it's going to, our parabola is actually our vertex and, and our um, our vertex and our um, zero are the same number, which is zero in this particular case. Sorry, I couldn't think of that word for a second. Blanked out. All right, so letter B, we've got 4x squared minus 25. Remember, get your squared variable on one side. Move your constant number to the other side. So I need to move that 25 over. Okay? So here we go. I've got 4x squared is equal to 25. I still need to get x squared by itself, so divide each side by 4. And now I have x squared equals 25 fourths. Now I can take the square root of each side. Now, we're going to have positive negative versions. Start with the 25. Start with the numerator. What's the square root of 25? 5. What's the square root of 4? 2. So your answer is going to be positive or negative 5 halves, or if you did the decimal version, 2 and a half. Okay? Um, letter C is really similar. Notice that the quantity that's being squared already is by itself. Now, if I want to unsquare that quantity, then what I would do is take the square root of the quantity and take the square root of 9. What I do to one side, I must do to the other. So remember, the square and the square root cancel out, and that leaves me with x plus 2 equals, and what's the square root of 9? We have two possibilities here. The square root of 9 could be positive 3, and it could be negative 3. could be one or the other. There's, there's your two answers right there. So we're going to set up two equations, x plus 2 equals 3, and x plus 2 equals negative 3. Because there's two possibilities for the square root of 9 could be positive 3 or negative 3. So now we're going to subtract 2. So one of my zeros is going to occur at positive 1, and my other zero is going to occur at negative 5. And there's my two zeros. Okay? So hopefully I've explained myself really well to you. You want to get your squared variable, or if it's a quantity, get the squared quantity by itself on one side, and then get your constant on the other side. I'm going to leave these as extra credit. One of them is very, very tricky. The other two are pretty straightforward, just like I showed you up here. We'll see how you do with that and bring your questions to class.